All civilian hostages held Hamas Gaza will be released during a six-week pause in fighting proposed. The United States, Qatar and Egypt, some of which have been accepted principal Israel and considered Hamas. Officials who know the negotiations. The proposal includes release Palestinian prisoners held by Israel at a rate three prisoners for every hostage. The temporary repositioning Israeli troops away from highly populated areas Gaza. And a significant increase in humanitarian aid sent to region. Described as a basic framework, it is said to be a two- or three-page document with bullet points. It envisages continued pauses beyond six weeks during which Israeli military prisoners and the bodies of hostages who in captivity will be released. Amid negotiators hopes that extension could lead to a permanent cessation of hostilities. Approaching a fourth. According to Israel, 109 hostages including the elderly and children, as well as the bodies of 27 people are still being held. David Bernaya, leader of Mossad intelligence agency, authorized by Israeli war cabinet to negotiate on its behalf, attended talks in Paris on Sunday where framework was finalized, as did Ronan Barr, head of domestic intelligence service. Shin Bet. Negotiators included CIA Director William J. Burns, Egyptian Intelligence Chief Abbas Kamel and Qatari Prime Minister Mohammed bin Abdulrahman Al Thani. Egypt has forwarded the current proposal, which must now be approved by Hamas military leaders believed to be in the region. Following talks in Paris, Mohammed flew to Washington to meet with Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Monday and White. House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan on Tuesday. According a statement from White House, Sullivan called on Hamas to use every possible effort ensure the release of hostages without delay. The remaining half dozen hostages are believed to be American citizens. Officials familiar with the sensitive talks discussed the hostage talks in what they said were early stages and stressed that any real deal would take time to come to fruition. Speaking on condition of anonymity, while Israel accepted the broad framework for a second temporary cessation of hostilities, officials said major disagreements were certain to arise as specific details and commitments were negotiated. A lot of detail is needed to move forward, a senior official said. A similar pause was when a hostage exchange with prisoners was negotiated in November. During the week-long cessation of fighting, 105 captive Israeli women and children and some foreigners were released by Hamas. It was hoped that subsequent stages would lead to further releases. But intense fighting quickly resumed amid mutual accusations, allegations of bad faith, and violations of the agreement by both Israel and Hamas. Israeli negotiators began showing interest renewed talks with Hamas in late December after three Israeli hostages Gaza were mistakenly killed by the Israel Defense Forces. An Afik